Republican Shelley Moore Capito. Senator, thanks for being with us here on the Hill. Appreciate it. Um, real quick, your reaction to to what you saw in your chamber today with your, your colleague on the other side of the aisle, Chuck Schumer. Well, I was astounded that uh, Senator Schumer would uh, not dip his toe in, but fully uh, ask a, a nation that duly elects their own leaders that they should replace their leader. This is a very sensitive time for the state of Israel and for the whole region. And I think that it's hypocritical for Senator Schumer to ask for a replacement leader when that when uh, Bibi Netanyahu has uh, duly elected, he has a coalition government. And uh, I think that you have to look at the unifying uh, piece that he, that he has pulled together, and that's the elimination of Hamas. Uh, Senator Schumer was or is in the focus also for something totally different, as you know, Senator Capito, and that's um, whether or not to put the House passed passed TikTok bill on the floor of the Senate and when he might do that. Should he do it from your vantage point, and when should he do it if so? Absolutely, he should do it. It came out of the House committee unanimously. It came out uh, overwhelmingly out of the House. It's a very simple bill. It's basically saying the Chinese Communist Party cannot dip their fingers into every single person who uh, uses TikTok in this country and use that data. We're saying uh, sell, sell this uh, ownership to uh, outside of China. And uh, I think Senator Schumer would be making a huge mistake if he does not put this bill up. But I think there'll be a hue and cry, not just from Republicans, but from Democrats alike, to say, end the communist China possession of all of our data through TikTok. Donald Trump, though, uh, leader of your party, he said, uh, quote, the, the thing I don't like is that without TikTok, you can make Facebook bigger. And I consider Facebook to be an en enemy of the people, along with a lot of the media. Donald Trump is going against your party. Is he wrong, Senator? Well, I think he stepped back a bit from that statement because I think what he realizes is this is an overwhelming desire to uh, alleviate in, uh, the Chinese uh, Communist Party uh, taking hold of uh, American children and uh, to taking hold of our thoughts and minds. I mean, in the Trump administration themselves, they were in the CFIUS procedure to uh, divest TikTok from the Chinese. So I think fundamentally he believes in this. I understand his uh, issues with uh, Zuckerberg and, and, and Meta and share those as well. But this is a different thing. This is a, a party that ha says that their companies have to pledge allegiance to their, uh, to their communist party, that they will cooperate, share data, and everything else. So what, and we why see that that's what they're doing, and, and they have powerful uh, ways to do it. So why do you think he yes. said what he did recently? You know, I, I really don't know. I heard him say it on uh, on a morning show that, that that he felt this way, and I also read that. But I do know that his actions in his administration were very much in line with this TikTok bill, or anti-TikTok bill, I should call it. Do, do you think, uh, as you talk to other members in the chamber, Democrats, Republicans, I just heard Mark mm -hmm. Warner on Elizabeth uh, Vargas's show, basically similar position as you. He's the other side of the aisle. Do you think this passes if it hits the floor? Oh, absolutely. I think it passes probably with close to 80 votes. I think that's okay, how, wow. um, how deeply concerned people are. I really do. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's reflected in the House vote as well. Only 15 Republicans voted against it, but overall only 50 some members voted against it. So I think it will have an overwhelming vote in the Senate. And he better bring it up because uh, okay. his members and, and Republican members are going to demand it. Senator Capito, we got to leave it there. Appreciate the time and we hope you come on back. Nice Great. talking to you, Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.